Okay, so we went to see a property for a client, a client that found us on YouTube. We're doing some video tours for them. Uh, this particular property that we went to look at came on the market with no pictures. No pictures. This is a first for us. We've been in business for 13 years now, have never seen. Well, no, we've seen properties that were not in the best condition where there were no pictures. Right, 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 we've right. We've never right. seen a move-in ready property that did not have any pictures taken. That was strange. And this property is move-in ready. It's move-in ready. There's really no reason why. There's no photos. Maybe it's just a, a case of the um, logistics on the agent side. I don't want to say anything negative about the agent, so, mm. so I'm not. But that was strange. So just talking to the client via Zoom, they're out of the country, making a, they're planning on buying something to move into by the end of the year. And, and usually we do video tours. We usually uh, do video tours, yes. But this agent or seller, they're not allowing video tours. Um, and For so some strange reason. We were under the impression that since the listing went live today, that there would be pictures today. So I went ahead and made the appointment for Abraham to show the property or see the property. So that way he could answer any questions the client had after looking at the pictures. And there was also supposed to be a video tour that the agent was gonna upload, maybe a 3D virtual tour. Right. Um, and so we really were going to see the property just so we could put eyes on it because we know this client, we can work with them for a little while. We know what they've been interested in in the past. So we figured, you know, we'll go put eyes on the property and we'll see, you know, we'll be able to convey and answer any questions they have, right? But no pictures, contacted the agent, maybe a few more days before there are pictures. Right. We're just in a gray area with this. This How do you right buy a property without seeing it? Um, also, so we we did conduct an audio tour of the property, which is a first, right? Because we've done we've done video tours with clients. We've had clients, you know, lease our by either looking at a Matterport tour or something like that. But this is the first time we we didn't actually have the some type of visual right for the client. Uh, now the good thing is the homes of the community are not that different. That's true. It's a new construction community. It's a new, yeah, well, it's a newer I'm, community. I'm, it's a newer community. And this is our third property that we've toured for this particular client in that community. Right. And so I think that that makes it a little bit easier. I think had it been in like, let's say it was in Lake Ridge. Right, or, yeah, Instead of being an Eagle variety. Point. I think that there's more variety and also because of the age of those homes it would have been a little bit more difficult for you to try to explain or give them a That's visual. True. You know? That's true. So yeah. anyway, interesting day. Yeah. Interesting day. I guess you're probably wondering why are we talking to you about this? Because you know, some of our clients come from different parts of the country or different parts of the world, mm -hmm. and they may not have the ability to schedule a buying trip to, to see properties. And one of the, the services that we offer is a video tour of the property, right? So we take a camera, uh, I have it right here. We take a little camera, pocket camera, great quality video on here. It's on a gimbal as well. So we take- Steady. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. steady. We take that camera, walk through the property and essentially try to talk you out of buying the property, <laughs> right? Well, just make sure that you get the feel, the same feeling that you would get if you were actually in the property. Right. If you were touring the property in person, you would notice things. Yes. And I think that that is the disadvantage when buying a property, a sight unseen without, you know, without physically seeing it, is that you will not see the flaws because the cameras are either not that great right. or no one's pointed out. Or if you were seeing a property with your agent, your agent might point some things out to you that you would not have otherwise seen. That's true. And so I think that you do a good job in the videos of pointing out those things. They're very detailed videos. He doesn't just walk through. There's constant commentary and you, you know, you measure every room and you point out the flaws you also point out the great things too but like i said well, the reason why we're having this conversation with you all right now uh, at the beginning of this particular video is because like i said some of you are buying sight unseen and we want to make sure that that you have a firm grasp of what we're dealing with when we're doing these video tours some of the properties are not going to allow video tours that's not common though yeah this is the first time we've ever had an agent decline our request for a video tour <laughs> that's true so um, so it's, it's a rarity most people will allow you you to do the video tour when you get a video tour from us it, it will be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes depending on the size of the property and like I said my, my main goal with uh, doing these video tours for my clients is to kind of talk you out of the property right like if I could point out as many negative things about the property and then you could still say you know what I still want to go move forward with the property then we know that we have 
a property that's that's ideal for you, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's the goal, right? Because we know people who have purchased properties sight unseen before, and one of their main concerns was that, you know, I don't feel like my agent showed me everything, right? They should have disclosed this. And then in the future winds up that the client doesn't use that agent to list their property in the future or sell their property in the future. And so we would like to represent you on the buy side when you buy the property and on the listing side. So we know we want to make sure that you feel super confident with what we're delivering. Right? Yeah. And also, I think that in the market that we've been in, of course, it's changing a little bit. But in the market that we've been in, people haven't been able to schedule buying trips because you may oh, have true. to put in multiple offers. Um, and so because of that, you can't say I'm going to come the second week in October and I'm going to choose a house. We're going to see a dozen homes and we're going to choose one. That was the case years ago, but that's not the case now. Right. right now, you need to you may be looking at properties for several weeks. Uh, we may do several tours, not only because you have to find the house that you want and like, but also because you may not win that first go round. And because a lot of our clients are moving from across the country, uh, they're PCSing, they don't have the option to come to make multiple trips. You know, most people aren't moving from Southern Virginia up to right. Northern Virginia. They right. can't drive up a few weekends. That's true. For the most part, you know, people are moving from, you know, at least one time zone away. That's true. And I also think that a traditional buying trip and what most people think of a buying trip, there's a lot of properties on the market. And with this particular market, there just may not be that much property in the market in general. So how many buying trips are you going to make? Yeah. Right. Um, so then the buying trip really becomes more or less like a neighborhood scouting trip where you're trying to define or cancel out or. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it also goes to a lot of buying trips in the past when buyers could, you know, let's say it was a buyer's market. It's almost like you're doing a house hunters television show where you're going right. to come in, you're going to see X number of properties. and You're going to choose between these six. Yes. Um, and that's just not the reality of how it goes, because those six might be does. So many times I manage our client portals. And so I see the feedback back immediately what our clients want to view in person and so many times people like a property when they see the pictures they love it before we even see it i think we want to make an offer on this house on main street right and then we get there we do the video tour and they're like oh my gosh like we didn't even need to see that property that's true um and so i think that i just can't see when a buying trip would be advantageous versus just taking the time to see as many properties as if you were here in person. That's true. So I guess the question is up to you. Would you ever buy a house sight unseen? Would that be something that you would do? Have you ever done it? If you've done it before, comment down below. Let everybody know how that process went for you. If you would never do it, tell us why you wouldn't do it. What is it stopping you from buying a house sight unseen? Just using video tours or like our current client, just using an audio tour, right? <laughs> uh, what's stopping you? So my name is Abraham Walker. This is Crystal Walker, and we are with the Ask A Walker team. We're a husband and wife real estate team. In the future, we're going to be coming live. What is it uh, on it's Wednesdays? Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Yes, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, right? So schedule it, set it in your calendar. Mm -hmm.